When I was a little kid, I noticed that my uncle Will didn't seem as interested in us as other aunts and uncles. When I grew older, I felt like Will talked down to us and to my dad and mom. I felt like my cousins Ellie and Todd were not as much fun as my other cousins. Even in high school, Todd played golf. Golf? I thought that was a game for fat old people who liked to ride around in carts instead of walking for themselves. Ellie, who was in between Ernesto and me in age, was so prim and proper, which was the opposite of Ernesto, who loved to have fun and get messy as I did. Will's wife Sue seemed nice enough, but it always felt like she was trying to be nice. When I was little, I had thought that they were weird. As a high school student, I felt like Will and his family didn't like us. I dreaded their visits. We were always relaxed around our house. It wasn't messy, but it was comfortable. When Will and his family came to visit, everything had to be in total order. My mom would become anxious. That made us anxious. One day, I noticed that my mother was cleaning the house, trying to straighten everything so that it was all just so. Dad was as well. Both mom and dad had demanding careers. They didn't obsess about how our home looked. We usually vacuumed and tidied up about once a week. She only got this way when we were going to have a visit from the tight butts. That was what Ernesto and I called them, because Will and his family were so perfect. Todd and Ellie never got into trouble. Sue always looked perfect, never a hair out of place. Will, too, though Ernesto said he was the only ugly member of Mom's family. Cousin Todd had already decided what he wanted to go to school for, a corporate lawyer. Boring. He was my age. He played golf and wanted to work for a large corporation as a lawyer. Who were these people? Where did they come from? How were they related to the rest of us? Help us clean up. Mom said to Ernesto and me, We all cleaned up two days ago, I said. It came out a little more argumentative than I meant. We are having company, Mom said. I can tell, I said. Uncle Will and his tight-butt family are coming. What? Mom asked picking up some papers and organizing them. She never obsessed with her notes. She had a system that helped her write, and that was having all her information around her. She was an excellent journalist. Every time the tight butts come, you go crazy cleaning, I said, also more argumentative than I meant. Tight butts? Mom didn't look happy. Because Will and his family are tight butts, I said. It popped out. Will is my brother, Mom said. I know, I said. We don't like him. Will is my brother, and you need to be respectful of them. Mom continued. Regardless of if you like them or not. And I want you to try to like them. Why do they have to come over? I asked. I mean, it's always so strange when they are here. They are part of our family. Mom said. She sounded exacerbated. I didn't think that she enjoyed it when Will and his family came over either. Not my family, I argued. Yes, they are, Mom insisted. Will is my brother. He is your uncle. That makes him part of our family. I don't care. I don't like him, I said. And I hate it when Will the Pill and his family come over. All they do is talk down to us like we are beneath them. I'm sorry that you don't like them, Mom said. But Will is my brother. And he and his family are coming over. Please, just get over it. Ernesto and I continued to help with the tidying up, even though it wasn't needed. When they arrived, Will and his family walked in, and Will started to look around at our house the way he always did, like he had humbled himself to visit. I still couldn't believe that he was related to Mom and Toby and Bibi. How could such a jerk come from the parents that had Mommy and Toby and Bibi? I wanted to smack him as he looked down his nose at me. Instead, I offered to get Todd and Ellie something to drink. They accepted. In the kitchen, I decided to make conversation. So, I heard you know what you want to do when you graduate, I said. Yes, I'm going to go to law school, said Todd tight butt. And I'm going to practice corporate law. What made you choose to do that, I asked. I genuinely wanted to know. I had friends that were interested in the legal field, but they were interested in other types of law, such as environmental law, civil rights law, 
criminal justice, things that involve subjects for which they had passion. I wanted to be a biologist because that was what I was passionate about. I couldn't see anyone loving the corporate law. It is more lucrative, said Todd. My dad is willing to pay for my school as long as I will be able to earn a desirable income. What the heck is a desirable income? I didn't want to sound stupid, so I didn't ask. What the heck is a desirable income? Ernesto asked. She was never afraid of looking stupid or of asking questions. That means I will earn enough money to invest and leave my children a decent inheritance, Todd explained. That didn't make sense. Saving money was a good idea. I had learned that in school, but was working on something that didn't make you happy worth it? My parents had always told my sister and me to work at what we loved. Auntie Sue didn't work. Sue's parents had passed on, and because she was an only child, Sue inherited their money. Sue's family had been very wealthy. That made Will wealthy. And Uncle Will did like money. And why do you play golf? Ernesto persisted. Isn't that what old people do? Lots of people play golf, Todd said, sounding very patient. Golf is a good sport for making business connections. My father told me that. Uh, whatever. I was tired of talking about this. That did not sound like something someone who was related to my mom would say. I handed them their drinks, and we went outside where the adults were. After dinner, a lot of annoying discussion about money and race and other potentially controversial subjects, and Will bringing up someone named Ann Rand, the tight butts finally left. Daddy looked how I felt, happy that they were gone. I went to help Mom in the kitchen. Thank you, Mom said. Can I ask you a question? I asked. Sure, honey. What's up? She asked. Will said a lot of things that I found offensive, I said. I know that you didn't like it. No, I didn't, Mom said. Then why did you put up with it? I asked. Why didn't you tell him he was wrong? I mean, he is wrong, isn't he? Yes, I think so, Mom said. So does your dad. And Toby and Bibi? I asked. They never said the things that Will said. No, Mom said. They don't think like that either. Then why does Will? I asked. Your granny and papa raised us a certain way, with certain values, Mom explained. Like being kind and respectful tree huggers? I asked. That we are all equal and everyone is important? I had thought everyone in our family felt that way, until I met Will. Yes, among other ideas about life, Mom said. While Bibi and Toby and I agreed with those ideas, Will had other ideas about how he wanted to live. I would rather he not quote Ayn Rand and those sorts of people, but he is who he is. Will is still my brother, and so I tolerate his beliefs, even though I disagree with them. We believe some things are more important than money. Will does not. I learned an interesting lesson that day, and I relearned that lesson over the years. I learned that we could be civil to those who we disagree with. I learned that we could even love those with whom we disagreed. I learned that is an important part of family relationships. While I never learned to love Will or even like him, I did gain some insight into acceptance. Hey, thank you for watching. Please click on the right to subscribe if you like the video. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon when you subscribe so that you can be notified when we upload a new video. Watch more videos on the left, including our playlist. Thank you.